What's up everyone, welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog, and this is episode 275. Thank you all so much for being here. I can't believe we are this close to episode 300 and the movie coming out just exactly two weeks away. I'm so freaking pumped, I know a lot of you guys are. And once again, we have another coverage from IGN, and today they focus on something really, really cool, which is the stunt team and the stunts of the movie, especially revolving around one scene in particular that we've seen in the trailers, which is when Tom Hardy's on his motorcycle being chased through the streets of San Francisco by those SUVs and those drones. And so this is neat. They do kind of a full-on look at this. And what I like about it is that they film this on Bullet Hill. And if you haven't seen the 1968 uh, Steve McQueen movie directed by Peter Yates, I believe, uh, it is awesome. Bullet is a really great classic action movie. And so they named this hill after it because it's like very uh, bumpy. It's got a lot of turns on it. It's also like this, got this great straight shot, these big ramps that you can ramp up off the hill and then come down. It's like a lot of cool things. It's great for movie chase sequences and a lot of movies use it uh, for that reason. And what's really cool about the stunt team of this movie and like any movie is that they approach things from that angle. They don't really typically have like a, a full sense of the movie they're working on. It's like, oh, you're doing Spider-Man. Oh, you're doing Venom. It's like, okay, they'll they'll pay attention enough to where like, all right, we want to do something unique for this character or this character has this kind of power. So let's, you know, revolve the stunts around that kind of ability and stuff. But for chase sequence and stuff, you get these guys who come in that are great at motorcycle stunts. They work on a bunch of movies. And I know we had Jake Tamori. He's kind of typically Tom Hardy's stunt double in some of the like on the ground scenes. But we have... A, two different guys here that are riding motorcycles as Eddie Brock in this. And what's cool is we have them. We have uh, Spiro, who's one of the, uh, you know, uh, second unit director. Uh, and second unit is the people that come in and film stunt scenes or they do like cutaway shots, things that the director's going to need uh, to edit into their movie, um, especially stunt stuff. Like they, you know, they do a lot of stunt stuff. I've worked in second unit before on a Punisher movie, no less, that they filmed in Florida in the Tampa area with Thomas Jane. Um, and that was really fun. I was only on it for like a day or two, uh, filling in for a friend of mine uh, but it's really neat when you're around these stunt guys they, they always try to top themselves even they're like hey in the last movie I worked on we did this but in this movie you know, I want to do something different or I learned something in that last movie that I want to bring to the table here. And so you have all these guys that are just focused on the stunt and the in focusing on getting the car crashes to look good and getting the camera to make sure it follows this action really well. Like you have all these people that have that goal is to just do that. You know, they kind of wash away that it's Venom. They kind of wash away the movie that they're working on and they're just focusing on that, on the stunt itself. But these guys also are factoring in the Venom stuff. So you have Alana here. It's not our, uh, it's not Terry Schwartz who's been doing all the other ones, but Alana comes in and she's basically focusing on this overnight shoot they did, which we saw footage of from people's apartments. One of these scenes where they show someone crashing through like a trash can, we actually saw that from someone's window uh, early on. So definitely go back and watch our older episodes so you can see some of that footage and check out the links where we got those from. Uh, I think a lot of them were from Tom Hardy Italia here on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, it's really cool stuff. It's really neat to see uh, this kind of environment. Like these stunt guys are really awesome. And they talk about safety first. Like, you know, one of the stuntmen is talking about in the article that goes with the video, and again, I'll put the link to everything down below to IGN. Uh, but they talked to one of stuntmen and he talks about how his life could have been saved a couple times. It was like some, you know, the pavement got wet at some point, And if he would have landed dead center in the middle of the road on the, you know, the, the white or yellow lines that kind of separate, you know, the, the two uh, traffic uh, directions to drive in. Um, you know, he's like, you know, if I would have landed on that, I could have just slid right off and off the road and killed myself or ran into like a fire hydrant and broke my shoulder. He's like, there's so many things that could go wrong. So they moved my ramp uh, like a little bit this way or a little bit that way. And so when I landed, I landed perfectly on this, you know, cement and I didn't slip and slide everywhere. And he's like, so there was two times that these guys saved my life on this shoot alone. And just hearing that, that these guys are willing to push themselves and go higher and do crazier things, but then also have people that are like, hey, dude, reality <laughs> like we need to talk about safety you know we're all insured here sure but uh, we don't want to have to like relocate you know your shoulder or anything like that we want you to make it through this so you can work on your next movie sooner than later and uh, so safety is a big thing so it was neat to see them kind of dive into this because i wouldn't consider any of the spoilers and they do talk about how this is the first time in the movie where eddie brock is kind of understands that venom is inside of him you know this is right after him getting attacked in the apartment and so he's like, all right, I'm, I'm being chased by drones. I'm being chased by SUVs. These guys want to kill me. And I have this alien creature inside of me and I don't know what to do. And so I'm just driving 80 miles an hour to get away so I can think. And, uh, you know, and but these guys are chasing me and they're probably going to kill me. And then when he, you know, hits that ramp and he goes up and he comes off the motorcycle, the suit's like, all right, 
we got to save this guy because if he gets hurt, we get hurt, and it's, it's a whole thing. So let's save him, and then we'll give each other answers. So uh, so it looks like, you know, it sends out his tentacles, grabs the motorcycle, pulls him back in. And the motorcycle is a Ducati. It's kind of in disguise, though, as a dirt bike, but it is a Ducati motorcycle, which we talked about in previous episodes. So this is really neat. The article, I would say, read that, too, uh, along with the video. I would say that for the other ones, too. But this one especially because there's things in the article that aren't included. There's quotes that aren't included um, in the video. And the video is great to watch, but definitely read the article as well. So big shout out again to IGN. I'm glad they're doing all this stuff and I can't wait to see what they do tomorrow for their last day of Venom coverage. And I promise you in the morning I'll film a video on it and I'll post it probably tomorrow night when I get home from work. Uh, but for now, this is this. Uh, check it out. Go to IGN, link down below, and let me know what you think. I would love to hear what your opinions are on these stunt teams. And kind of, I just want to give you kind of a mindset that these guys are in. They come in and they think about the stunt first and how to execute it the best they can so they can give the director, Ruben Fleischer, the best footage they can give them. Because sometimes directors will be there for this stuff and sometimes they won't be. And so they had, luckily, Spiro here who did the second unit directing, and that helped out a lot. They did these overnight shoots so that Ruben can focus with the main actors on the daytime shoots when they were in San Francisco. So, yeah, movies are really well, you know, orchestrated. It's like a very well-oiled machine, especially if you get a good movie going. And this movie sounds like it didn't have really any major production problems, and it went through without a hitch. And that's really good, and that gives me a little bit more hope for this film. So again, let me know what you think of all this information down below and we'll continue the conversation down there. Thanks for celebrating 275 episodes with me and only just under 11 months, which is crazy. That's a lot. That's almost an episode a day and I'm very excited. I'm glad I got to do all this for you guys and we have 25 more episodes to go before we end this season of the show and we take a little hiatus and then we'll come back with season three. So let me know what you think of that also down in the comments below. Thanks for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff and I'll see you in the future. Peace.